Hello everyone, this is Seraphira, and welcome back to Going Medieval. So, we're in the autumn, heatwave has passed, and apparently, flourishing, tears lean, uh, grows more influential in the region with each day that passes. This is sure to attract more settlers, and perhaps garner unwanted attention from other settlements. I don't know what that means. That means that we're going to be attacked more. Uh, more events of gaining settlers. I, I don't I don't know. Um, but the gatehouse piece is complete. It's just straight wooden doors right now. Even though... What are you doing, Mark? Let's let's move him really quick, and then undraft him. I think he got stuck somehow. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm building, taking down walls here. We'll replace them with the good brick. Uh, that is coming along. We got plenty of limestone. I did make a tiny stockpile here just for limestone brick. Who's idle now? Uh, yeah. I don't know why I keep on getting errors that settlers are idle. They're all doing stuff. So I, I think they just take a moment to think and for some reason the game is telling me they're idle. Either way, um, I'm going to put these walls up, and technically, you know, maybe I will right now, since I can get on both sides of this wall, I'm going to add that. So again, this is going to be of thickness, thickness all the way back to here. Um, I could, and I probably will make a floor here and that our archers could come up and stand up here and shoot down at least temporarily um, if we get attacked in the meantime so as soon as these walls are complete I will do that especially with our new quote unquote influential status let's take a look at the region Let's pause for a second, get rid of that, there we go. So apparently this is our seat of power. I don't know if that's what we want to call it. I can't move the map. Um, we do have an enemy settlement of forest bandits nearby. More forest bandits. Then we got friendly settlements over here. I don't know if we can do anything with them yet. I can, I can click on it all I want and nothing seems to be happening. I believe that is the roadmap for us to do with some diplomacy and things in the future. But um, I do like this large area. I don't know if that's supposed to be influence or, uh, or what. But it does kind of make me think of some sort of dwarven settlement. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so the gatehouse is coming along. The settlers are all equipped with their uh, winter clothes, so they can go to negative 4 to 26 now, and considering it's 0.7 degrees Celsius outside, they definitely need their winter clothing. Minus 5, minus 4, minus 5, and then we get to minus 10 down here with this good wool winter clothes. Unfortunately, I don't think I have better clothing than... Oh, there you go, there's the calculation, but... <laughs> oh, headwear, that's what I should do. I should make some headwear for my people. So maybe that's why, because these guys both have headwear on, that's why they can go further down in temperature. So, yep, let's change. Apparently it's waiting for resources for some reason, even though we have a bunch of linen. 
Um, and it doesn't really give a description on the hat or the straw hat. That requires hay. This requires clo clothing, which would be our linen. This seems like a good summer hat, which is fine. Let's let's make a couple of both. Let's just make two of both and see what happens. Uh, production idle, production idle. All right, so I'm going to uh, unpause it and I'm gonna continue on building everything here and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so finally, uh, the influence event, I don't know if this is an influence event or not, but an event has happened after the influence message <laughs> has happened. Um, we got some more assassins coming, and apparently we have one brutal forest bandit thug. I should say about. About one forest, fierce forest bandit, and four, about, four forest bandits have arrived. And apparently they're, it sounds like they're here. I don't think that there's a, a wait time. Um... We're just going to hit the button and see... Yep, they've already arrived. So, I see one, two, three, four, five, six. This guy looks a little... Herbrick. It doesn't say exactly what he is. And they're way up there. So they can't, they cannot come down this way. They're going to have to make their way around, which is good. That's what we want. Um, I'm going to hit unpause and let them figure it out. Yeah, they're, as you can see, his yellow line is going dot, dot. He's not quite sure what he's doing there. But you can kind of see what the gatehouse is looking like here. Martin is working furiously on getting more done but there is enough done that I can put a couple archers up here now I don't know if it's worth putting Melee out here right now with two archers okay so let me, oh there they go okay so they're on their way down they're gonna come down this way through 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 and Apparently they're not going to go through the gate. They're going to try to come around the easy way. See, this is why I need to make this wall here. Uh, let's get, we'll pause this now. I don't think we're going to be able to, even with a simple limestone wall, which is what I would attempt to do. I don't want that, I want simple. Yep. I mean, we're going to destroy some of this stuff. Oh, and of course I can't go all the way to the wall. Great. Now the thing is, I don't need to come up this way anymore. I've got some stairs in there, which I'll show you in a moment. So let's just continue this limestone wall. I don't think I'm going to get this done in time at all is possible though. Uh, and then we're going to continue the wall this way and put another one there for extra measure just in case they can do something strange. Again, I don't need to come through this uh, path anymore. This is quite a bit for people to do so while the game is paused um, let me show you the, the gatehouse really quick so Reynard is running inside apparently so I've got some uh, defensive 
measures here. I've got uh, Merlons, a corner Merlon. So this actually comes out two spaces, one, two. I've got uh, Merlon, Merlon, and it basically is like this nice little entrance that has the gates there that are still wood, which is okay. We'll eventually make some iron. Um, I've got some pillars here, so regular stone walls that will hold up the roof so that while someone is up here defending, if it's for some reason raining, uh, they won't get wet and the, the, the attackers will, because the rain should fall straight down into the attackers. I don't know if that means a thing or not during a, an attack slash defense or not, but I don't, to me it does. Um, I've got some stick traps now as well. I think the attackers were going to come through here and then move that way, so they might hit these as they go through. Might. I don't know. I can't put any more traps here because this is unbuildable land. Um, either way, I'm going to take my archers and place them here while everyone else is hopefully working furiously. I'm going to take Maria, who's only mining, and I'm going to place her here in this corner, if I can. <laughs> Let's take down the there we go. So hopefully I can put her... Maria... Draft... There we go. So she's going to come up here. I want... Herifrith... Draft him to this corner. There we go. So I'll have my couple archers there. Um, I've also made a path here. Uh, all of this is complete for the gatehouse. And I've made a path and if you look at the bottom left you can see that the traversal speed is 120%. Unfortunately Maria and Herakrit, they're going to have to run through here to this door to get up to their positions. As long as that, I don't know why he's trying to go through that way, but uh, it might just be because it's paused. Um, so I made a path from the gatehouse all the way to the storage house. That's, uh, I don't know what else to call this right now. I need people to make this very quickly <laughs> and I guess we'll see what happens but hopefully with some archers up here that will I don't think that's gonna be enough especially well it's good that some people are moving slower he seems to be moving pretty quick these guys are a little slower this guy even slower so hopefully the archers can take out people Um, as I come in because these guys aren't moving they're barely moving and he's moving fast so he should be easy to be dealt with all right Martin what are you doing it is 1800 so we're getting close to um, to nightfall and Martin is gathering some stone. Oh shoot, he's still building this stuff, isn't he? Where are you moving? He's coming out here. Oh, he's trying to build those. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see. He's working on flooring in and as you can see it is raining so getting my people covered up isn't a bad idea but we're 
already on the slowest speed. Alright, he's attacking the door, so this is good. Alright, one man down. We've got two more slow ones coming in. And a couple more even further behind. So, archery might be enough. trying to do there. Alright, so uh, three out of the six are gone. I don't, what are you trying to do, dude? So, okay, we've got three people on the gate right now. They're not trying to come around. Either way, I still want to box this off. There we go. So, um, it was a seven hour and 21 minute fight. Uh, apparently the last person's going to run away. Uh, all settlers survived, uh, thanks to their glorious leader telling Reynard to move, run back inside instead of staying outside and getting killed. Uh, five sworn enemies died during the fight, possibly this last one may as well. Maria was the bravest of settlers, dealing the most blows. Reynard took the most damage, because he was an idiot. <laughs> Alright, so Cameron is still getting hit a little bit here. I don't know if Maria has a line of sight to him or not, but he's probably going to get away. And there he goes, he's gone. So there we go. Uh, that is another attack on Tiraslene, which uh, ended at midnight apparently, almost right on the dot. Let's take these people off of draft. And again, we've got some nice loot. The traps worked a little bit. The gate is a little worse for wear. 75 out of 120, 52 out of 120. They didn't attack the windows. I don't know if I can look at the, the trap here. There we go. It still says it's 20 out of 20 hit points. So, I don't know if they, those can be reset on Mac or not. But, there we go. Tears Lean has uh, survived yet another attack. This time, we really didn't even need any melee uh, defenders at all. Um, if I continue building this up, I can put more archers in more spots that hopefully they can attack down towards the gate, which will be improved eventually with iron gates, and maybe some more facing outward this way as well. Maybe I should try to make some windows here so that people can attack this direction. I don't know, we'll see. So I guess with that said, <laughs> as always, really thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this series, and I guess I'll talk to you next time. Alright everyone, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.